College is known for its supernatural occurrences. Esther House is known as the most haunted building on campus. This is the evidence I gathered. Haunted or not, you decide. Do you believe that Esther is haunted? I do. I lived there alone for a week before all my residents moved. So one of the theories of the ghost in Esther House is that it's the old woman that got burnt in the house. It was an older woman and had a candle and she put it on the side of her nightstand and at the end during the night the candle lit the curtain on fire and it burnt the entire house down and she got trapped in it. The other theory is that there's a nun in there. Uh, it's hypothesized that that sister, she used to be one of the nuns that took care of the students here. And when she passed on, the theory stayed in that residence to take care of all the students. You know that that story of the woman getting burned up is very true because Dr. Russell has a death in him. What are your top three spookiest stories of things that happened? And we've had gusts of wind com uh, winds come through doors when windows were shut. Didn't you hear piano music when you were alone there? Oh yeah, all the time. Um, and there, uh, even when I wasn't alone, people the residents heard it all the time. I find their, their uh, homework assignments and will magically show up on their desks and windows will be shut at night if you're cold. She will mess with you. <laughs> she will rip down your whiteboard. She'll break your mirror. We've had mirrors collapse off the, the knife story uh, about 10 years ago. They had a student that was downstairs in Esther House and in his room and they kept hearing thud from the door and the student was actually chucking knives at the door like in a trance. We had one night um, Canada wasn't there and she she left and we started to hear because she was across the hall from me I started to hear the door bang like someone was like hitting the door and um so we walked over and we tried to figure out if like the window was open or if Canada hadn't left yet. And Canada left and the, uh, the door kept banging and so we opened up the door and the door, uh, the window was completely shut. Nothing was there. And didn't the doorknob start turning? Yeah. The other and way? the door popped open, which, which it was locked at one point. So it was creepy. This is what happened when we went into the dorm at night. feel about being an Esther right now? Um, I am honestly a little scared, but... Thing. Did what? Did, like, I tried to open it, and it got to a certain point, and then it wouldn't move, so I, like, pushed a little harder, and it finally, like, gave, but it felt more like somebody was pushing back and, like, slowly letting me. Maggie, what did you just hear? Oh, uh, it sounded like somebody took a step down the stairs. The first time she asked um, the ghost, I would say, um, to please stop, and they stopped, and then right when we were about to walk through the doorway, they started up again. <laughs> Do you believe that Esther is haunted? It was definitely. You could hear people walking up and down the hallways. Um, Even when no one was when, in the hallway? Yeah, it sounded like people were following you, and then there were a couple times when it, like, you heard singing in the shower, and then, like you, nobody else was in the bathroom because you would have heard the door open. And nobody was in there before you, and like there was this weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and... Having been in Esther now and seen proof, do you believe it is haunted? Yes. As soon as we step outside, the atmosphere is like totally different. It was like a weight was lifted off our chest. Or 